we want to teach ourselves how to sketch the graphs of modulus. For example, to sketch the graph of y is equals to modulus ax plus b modulus, uh, we need to first of all sketch the graph of y is equals to ax plus b uh, originally and then and then reflect it reflect it along the x axis why do we do this so that we can get the modulus for example if we have uh, the graph of y is equals to x so to speak let's just talk about y is equals to x uh, the graph of y is equals to x something that is a line that passes through the origin this is y is equals to x the modulus if you want to get y is equals to modulus x all values of y which are supposed to be negative that means from here downwards then they are considered to be positive so if this is negative one of y then the modulus of negative one is positive one and the x value doesn't change so basically what you will see is this graph being reflected along the x axis and now the whole of this line this is supposed to be now not existing so the graph you can see is equals to the modulus of x this is the graph the black is the original this is original and this is the reflected part the reflected or rather the moduled the moduled part this is the red one is the moduled part so we're going to see this in example three let's look at example three and see what happens having understood that piece of information and example three talks of sketch the graph of y is equals 3x minus 2 sketch the graph of y is equals 3x minus 2 modulus the very first thing that we do is to sketch the graph of y to sketch the graph of y is equals 3x minus 2 and we have x and we have y let us try to tabulate this when x is probably uh, minus uh, let's say 3 um, we have x is equals to minus 3 times 3 times 3 minus 9 minus 2 minus 11 when x is minus let's say 1 minus 1 times 3 is minus 3 minus 2 we are supposed to have minus 5 when x is 0 we are supposed to have minus 2 when x is 2 for that matter this is 6 minus 2 which is going to be 4 and you're going to have uh, a graph that basically looks like 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 and you're going to have minus 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 uh, minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is minus 1 and minus 2 and 1 and 2 when x is a minus 1 y is supposed to be a minus 5 somewhere there when x is 0 y is supposed to be a minus 2 somewhere there when x is 2 y is supposed to be 4 so you can see that you're going to have um, you're going to have a straight line that is supposed to be that way and this one is the whole of the line y is equals to 3x minus 2 3x minus 2 but of course you can see we want the moduled aspect of the function so every value of negative every value of negative y 
meaning from this x-axis downwards, they are supposed to be reflected along the line, uh, the x-axis. So when y is a negative 2, when x is 0, when it is moduled, we are going to have our y to be positive 2. When y is a negative 5, when x is a negative 1, when it is reflected along the line, the, 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 the line y is equals to 0, or the x-axis, then we are supposed to climb with this until we get to positive 5 there. So our graph looks like, our graph now looks like that. That is now our graph. You can now ignore this part, this part whose values of y were negative, we can easily ignore them and we can say this is now the graph this is the original, this is the original, and this is the moduled, the moduled part. You can see it's already reflected along the x-axis. And that is just like it. But you can, um, you can as well tabulate directly, have y is equals to mod 3x minus 2 directly, x uh, and y. When x is, let's start with, with let's start with minus 3, uh, minus 3, minus 9, minus 2, minus 11. The module is 11. And all these positive, negative values are supposed to be positive now. As you move forward, we can just do that. So if you don't uh, remember the reflection along the x-axis, you can easily tabulate it. But remember to module all the negative values of y. Okay?